I'm with Kapo Ashar from Thing Magic. Kapo, welcome to the RFID Network. Thank you, glad to be here. So Kapo, where are we and what is this thing? So we're in uh, Think Magic's uh, lab environment um, and this, as you can see, is an anechoic chamber. Uh, it's completely isolated from the outside UHF world uh, so that there's no interference. Uh, in front of me, I have this wagon wheel setup that's completely wooden. There is no metal, you know, so you don't get any reflections or interference and stuff like that. Uh, there's an antenna that's uh, powered by a Think Magic reader that's kept outside the anechoic chamber. Uh, the goal of this test is to find out the best placement of a tag on a metal such as this tool so that you can get the farthest distance out of it uh, while reading it. Uh, this wagon wheel setup rotates in 360 degrees so you can you know, test at every orientation possible. And uh, by looking at a graph, you can figure out exactly what's the best placement for that tag. So you're telling me that I can place a tag on an object, like a tool, yep. and you're going to tell me how far away I can read that tag? Yes. We have uh, the whole calculations done in a software. There is no theory involved. It's all practical. We're using uh, uh, you, you know, ISM band formulas to figure out exactly what the farthest distance could be. Um, and like I said, we can just rotate it in different orientations, horizontally and vertically and you know, come up with the best orientation possible for the range. So you're going to do that at every angle? Yep. And how do you show that information? Uh, we show it on a graph as a top view. So you can get, uh, you know, it's, it's all range and you can see the best possible Excellent. orientation. So you're telling me that you're going to tell me the maximum read range mm -hmm. of a tag on an object in every orientation? Yep. And all this time I've been running around with readers and doing these tests? Yes. <laughs> And I could have just come here instead. Yep. All right. Well, can you show us how it works? Oh, yeah, definitely. Let's go outside and launch the test. All right. Well, let's go take a look. The tag orientation test is performed by software that controls the Thing Magic RFID reader and the movement of the wagon wheel while processing and plotting the results. The wheel is rotated for a full circle pausing every 15 seconds while reader data is collected to determine the minimum power required to read the tag. The power in DBM is translated into the maximum distance and free space that the tag could be read on that particular material at that given orientation. In this case, we are reading a tag on a drill made of metal and plastic. Once the data is collected for all desired orientations, it is plotted on a graph such as the one illustrated here. The results achieved are very close to what our engineers found using traditional methods with less than one foot of variance. If you are interested in enabling your solutions with finished or embedded UHF RFID readers from ThingMagic or with solutions powered by ThingMagic RFID, visit www.thingmagic.com or email sales at thingmagic.com.